yet. Happy St. Patty's Day. Anyway, YouTube. So, um, I wanted to let you know that um, I had pulled one of these, the dumplings. I think I would just take one when they all, well, we all got stuck. Actually, I think these are pot stickers, not dumplings, YouTube. And I pulled. I've seen it. YouTube. I've seen it. I've seen it seven times. YouTube, I'm pulling this out. How many times have you seen Bohemian Rhapsody? And it got stuck. Seven, seven in the theater. Shut up. And two more. Shut the front door. Hello, world. I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of uh, things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. So please check me out. The weather is perfect today. About to head out the door to a birthday party at Aaron's. I just turned 31 last Monday. So we're there to go to a birthday slash uh, St. Patrick's Day bash. So this one is a little more of a party. I'm waiting for some friends of mine and then we're headed over there, so. here in the Publix. Uh, I guess Aaron has plenty of food. Uh, he wanted uh, he wanted Diane and Katie to bring something to drink. So I'm gonna get a birthday card and I need to get him a little something. Um, I know, since we're bringing drinks, um, and so I, want, I need to stay away from soda. And this is green for St. Patrick's Day. I think I'll bring lime LaCroix. That sounds like a good thing or as, um, Auntie Lois would say, how do you like them apples? So, um, having a really good time, but um, you won't believe the drama that I uh, had to go through uh, last night and today, and I will talk about it a little bit later, but it involved one of those preoccupied relationships, and I'd be happy to fill you in on what those are. Okay. I think these mint green Oreos would go nicely. Now to go find Aaron's birthday card. So I got lime flavored uh, sparkling water because the case is green and then mint Oreo since this is a officially a St. Patrick's Day party. Now you would have been too no much. Your guys all hey. singing this so loud would have been too much it, for me. Maya, I will Can we start over? No. Uh, I'm shooting, this is part of my blog, you guys. Say hello world. Hello, hello world. world. Hello world. Hello Maya. This is a, this, you, you guys remember Sunny from uh, the Powerhouse Strong panel? Yeah. I want okay, I want a photo of that. Hey. Hey. Okay, guys. Um, okay. Hold on. Could you follow me? Follow me. Um, I'm not going to bother. I want to get a picture. Hold on. Hold on. So, okay, hey guys, we need to get a great action stop. Okay, let's get a picture. Sean, Trout is second. That's yes. Sean. Sean, smile. Go by the fish. Go over there by the stove and point to the fish. Sean, the chef. Sean. Woo, Sean. Awesome. 
it's baked. That is gonna be baked. All right, where is yeah. where? You like the spaghetti? Oh. Yes, I do like the spaghetti. Um, you guys are so good. And there's Sunny Donnellan, Sunny D. Sunny D. Curls. Well, Aaron, I'm gonna get ready to go. Hold on, Maya, I have something for you. What'd you have? Um, is it on recording? Ow. Sorry, sorry, you don't, okay? You don't elbow someone's ear. No, no, I was, that's my awkward side. Don't feel bad. I'd like to give you a little bit of tea. You still drink tea, right? Yes. I'm going to give you some, you and you some British tea because I think that'll help you both. I'm going to give you a hug, but um, um, the tables are getting ready to leave, so. This, but yeah, I just love you and your your, uh, your fiance. You guys are going to be a great couple. Thank you. First Hold on, silly goose. <laughs> Another time, Aaron. You have to rush? Yeah, yeah, I do. Drive safe. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick this up. Some uh, tea, and I'm ready to go. Okay. Bye. That was a really, really, really great party and a good time. YouTube. hours later and I wanted to share with you guys the meat of this vlog which is called he blew it basically it started out last night when I had posted a few things on my Facebook story and those were from the Atlanta Science Festival as well as some pictures of my cat and things that I really enjoyed that I thought others might enjoy so I got a private message from this older man, and no, it's not romantic or anything. This was someone that I met years ago through a Jewish organization, and he basically messaged me and said he knew me, and so he called me up and invited me to a party at his congregation, and I said yes. And so he said he was gonna sign me up and invite two, I said yeah, go ahead. But I didn't really realize that I had other plans and they were conflicting. I just said yes. And it felt good at the time. And excuse me, I should have not done that. I should have said no and said, let me check my calendar first instead of immediately saying yes, maybe. I don't know. The, so that's bad on my part. But basically this man who I hadn't seen or spoken to in uh, nearly five years pinged me on my Facebook and he sent me several links related to the uh, to this party and I didn't look at it right then because I was doing some me time and taking care of Maya that kind of a thing and I messaged him and reminded him hey I can't talk now I'm doing a movie talk to you later and this morning when I got up I got more of the same and I got another phone call from him stating that uh, he wanted to know more at the party. He left me a message, and then he also uh, called me. I didn't call, pick him up. I didn't pick up right away, and he called right away because I was getting up, having breakfast, taking care of me, waiting to hear back from uh, Diane because I was going to this party and trying to really focus on that. And the phone kept ringing, and I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't in a row, but he called me at least three different times, but I didn't pick up. But basically, I was waiting to hear back from Diane. And every time the phone rang, it was from this guy. And twice I messaged him. The first time I texted him and said, I can't talk now. And I wrote back and said, listen, you're contacting me excessively. Please stop. And then he did it again a second time. And I texted him again. And I said, hey, please stop. So he left me alone. And he left me a message the first time, or for the second time. And... At that point, I was getting turned off, but I managed to look at the links that he sent me, and he said, and I found out that uh, it conflicted with my schedule, and that I just have something else going on Thursday night, 
and I wasn't able to make the uh, party. And it's because uh, I would have gone to this event and by the time I would have gotten there, the party would have been halfway over. So I just decided I couldn't make it. And, and so he contacted me again for the third time and I picked up my phone and reminded him, hey, you are contacting me excessively and I've asked you to stop. And he's like, I'm sorry. So I thought maybe he got the message and I told him, listen, I'm not able to make it to the party. I have uh, plans and I didn't realize I already had. And I've decided to go to uh, this party. So I thought he took it and I hung up and I, I was relieved. Well, an hour later, I got another private message from him with a little uh, sticker on it. And this was on Facebook and it was a panda crying or rather it was a sad panda. So I wrote back and I said, hey, uh, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Or actually I said something, I tried to set boundaries and he wrote me this big long dialogue about how um, I was accusing him of contacting me excessively. And then he was also uh, mad that I broke my promise to join him and that I had uh, lied to him about having a meeting when I was really going to go to this other party at a different venue. And it was just disgusting. And I wrote back and I said, no, you're mad because you didn't get your way. And so he told me that I didn't make sense. And he just said a bunch of things that were really toxic. And I wrote back and tried to tell him that he was acting immature and I just wasn't going to, that wasn't going to fly with me. And I felt like I was being, he was being disrespectful. And he did write back and say some other really mean things to me about how don't get into a fight with a pig because I will enjoy getting mud all over you and watching you get dirty. And then he said something about how I don't think logically, but... I wanted to put it out there that there are always people like that who will act nice as long as you give them what they want or they, have, they only want what they want and they think that they're the center of the universe. They think that they're right all the time and then when you put your foot down, they get mad and these are people who also won't take no for an answer and I just... I cannot stand guys like that. Not just guys, but people like that. And honestly, I was very turned off by the way that, that he handled himself. And I also have to realize that just because someone appears to be nice doesn't mean that they're healthy to be around. And I had no idea what this guy was capable of. I had no idea that he was the clingy, preoccupied type and that he would probably be the friendship who would in the end be toxic and I just I'm not up for that I mean at first I felt bad for letting him down but then I realized that this relationship isn't worth it and then I talked to Diane about it and I talked to Katie about it and both of them agreed that it just wasn't the type of friend that I need but long story short he threw a fit and decided to block me on, he decided he thought it'd be funny to block me on Facebook. So I blocked him, he blocked me. So we can't contact each other anymore. So either way, um, I'm not, go I'm not going to put up with that. I mean, if he attacks me any one more time, I'm reporting him to the police. So, uh, Anyway, that's it for tonight. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also be sure to check me out on social media, also on WordPress. And also be sure to look for more information regarding my YouTube live sessions. Until next time, I'm Maya and I'm signing off. Bye.